Hey guys, what's up? Chemistry here. Today I'll be responding to one of the requests on my channel, which was how to come up with a hard electro synth. Um, he also left um, a song actually for me to refer off of, um, which is great because I never listened to hard electro. I've never really produced hard electro. And um, this tutorial will be based off the experience um, of 30 minutes just messing around with Massive. Um, but I think I came up with something that is tutorial worthy uh, for you guys. Alright, so yeah, I'm, I'm leaving a moderator on my channel, so if any of you want to leave a suggestion or request, any ideas really for any future tutorial, you want to learn anything from me, uh, that thing will be on there for about a week or so, and I might stretch that timeline a little bit uh, for you guys. So I never forget when it's on my channel like that, and uh, I seem to be replying pretty quickly since that was requested about a day or so ago. Um, but yeah, so the first thing you're going to need for this hard electro uh, nastiness is Massive. And Massive is a really good VST plugin for this genre. I just made a tutorial actually about plugins and uh, which one are best for you, I guess. Uh, just going through a bunch of different plugins and stuff, uh, you know, for the ones who might, you know, need it and don't know which ones to go for. So I, I, I made a pretty general tutorial on that, and I'll leave it to annotation somewhere around here for you guys. But anyway, <clears throat> so um, I will just be adding in uh, the things that I, I recently kind of figured out in the past 30 minutes. So uh, the first thing you want to do is hit uh, this arrow and find the untitled sound preset. All that means is massive, it's empty, um, pretty much. It's just like you can start from scratch, there's nothing actually going on. Um, and then what you want to do is open up or light up every oscillator here so that every light is blue. That is a common mistake <laughs> uh, that I fell for in one of my previous tutorials here. So. Um, yeah, definitely turn on every oscillator. Now the next thing you want to do is look for the oscillator wave that you want. Um, they're going to be named uh, differently than like saw and things like that. So you got the basics here and then analog and digital hybrid. We're going to stick to that uh, mostly, uh, definitely. We're going to you're going to move around a little bit, but digital hybrid is going to be my primary uh, category uh, for making this synth uh, kind of lead bass thing. So for oscillator one, we're gonna we're gonna start off with modern talking, and then for oscillator two, we're going to um, actually first I'm going to play what that actually sounds like. Modern talking sounds kind of like that. Then we're gonna add chrome, and then we're going to add bronze on oscillator three. Alright, so it sounds something like that. I thought that was an awesome combination, to be honest, for my first 10 minutes of uh, going through the the, <clears throat> the plugin. But anyway, so once you kind of establish that, um, the next thing you probably want to do is link that to the mixer. But before, before we do, we're not going to mess around with the filters too much. We're going to add a little bit of noise. Now, I know you can't really see it at the bottom left here, but there is a noise section and you can change like what kind of noise you want. I'm gonna hit bright noise and open and then not open, but uh, turn up the amp just a little bit so we have that kind of static noise in the background. All right, so um, now the synth lead sounds pretty dirty, as uh, you kids might call it in the electro scene. I don't, I don't know. Trans producer, I I don't know. Um, but yeah, so we want to link Massive to the mixer. Also want to find a kick. Now it's going to take Clubby Kick 1, first one I saw, so anything can really work for this, but you know, you guys can choose your own kicks. This is more for the lead, so this is just for the tutorial. Uh, it's going to take Clubby Kick 1, sounds like that. Um, but yeah, what you want to do to the Massive that we just linked here is add some distortion. Um, now I have Omicide here, which is an awesome plugin for distortion. It's a great bit crush. It's just basically anything you would ever want, uh, all in one for distortion. I really am starting to learn how to use this, and uh, I think I kind of gotten comfortable with it. But I'm just going to use a preset for this, for the sake of this tutorial. Uh, so I'm just going to hit this little red light here, and that pre that's like a preset, and 
anyway. It sounds something like this now. Oh wait, no, that's not, that's the kick. And then if you want, you can add more distortion. Uh, there's also Camel Crusher, and there's another one by the same people, uh, Camel Fat. That is a great bit crush as well. And I realize it is kind of getting loud, so I'll turn down the master volume just a little bit. So uh, my main goal here is just to make as much dirty noise as I possibly can because it seems like through what I've heard in that, re uh, that referral kind of um, video song thing that the guy I wanted me to refer off of uh, that's basically all I got from that so that's the that's gonna be the first synth because obviously we, we need more than just one um, we can EQ that if you want uh, let's see EQing that would be just cutting off just a little bit of the low end um, Oh, that's fantastic. Here we go. A little bit of the low end uh, power, and then boosting up the you know the bass frequency, and maybe a little bit of the mids, and taking out some of the higher noise. All right, so that's boosting way over uh, zero decibels. So I'll turn that down a bit. good enough also what some people might not recommend but uh, I'll leave you guys up for that is to add some reverb so reverb 2 and uh, hit the the, um, the arrows there right click on that and hit small studio that will probably give you a bit of a reverb a very small ambience to that lead and I, I think it makes it sound more real to be honest <clears throat> alright so that's gonna be our first kind of lead thing um, what we want to do to that is sidechain compress it. That is key to our sound. Um, and to do that is um, have the kick kind of lead that sidechain. So um, as you can see here, we have the kick on the left. Um, I'm actually going to EQ that for you guys really, really quick, just so um, it, it sounds half decent, I guess. Anyway, it's not that powerful, but um, I'm going to boost it up till it's about uh, zero decibels. Um, so that will kind of like set the song here. And um, what you want to do is go into your, your kick uh, track here that you link to the mixer, and then look under Massive. So don't click on the Massive channel, but just look at it. Put your mouse right on it, and then slowly and carefully move your mouse down down that massive track until you hit this up arrow thing here and then that will um, if you click on it that will that'll have a knob and then you just want to turn that down because that's like the kick uh, doubling over it itself so um, now what we just did is we kind of linked both the kick and the massive together it is one so now that we go back to the massive um, uh, track here we can open up the limiter so on the massive track we open up a limiter and then we want to hit comp and then the side chain uh, little window here you want to bring that up to one and then you want to mess around with these three um, knobs here so we've got threshold ratio and knee uh, just mess around with that threshold will be around this area here that will have it um, and ratio you know anywhere to towards the right so it'll sound kind of like, well, it should look something like this-ish um, <clears throat> uh, for, for the basic sidechain compression. Um, but it won't be activated until the kick is actually beating, because what sidechaining is, is whenever the kick, um, in this case, whenever the kick is uh, makes, like, is emitted, you know, the kick is beating, whenever the kick beats, the, the sound, like it can be a pad, or in this case the lead, ducks down and then comes back up and then ducks down and comes back up. Um, what we're doing here is modifying the way it's 
ducking and coming back up. It, we're just kind of modifying modifying that. So uh, kick drum, fill, in, fill each four steps. So it's just going to be beating at the tempo. I'm going to speed that up a bit because I think it was a little bit faster in the song. So I'm going to bring that up to 140 beats per minute. That's a little over zero, isn't it? It's a lot over zero. All right, there we go. So the kick is beating there. I might actually slow it down. Uh, 136 beat per, beats per minute is our new tempo. So for massive, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have uh, it playing for three quarters of a measure on C4. And I'm just going to mute the kick really quick here. Um, so basically all it sounds like is this. slight lag in the sound there but it's it's playing for three quarters of measure and then there's a slight uh, pause at the very end here um, next we're going to bring up that kick back and it should sound like this oh god I hate it when the sound lags it just totally what an anticlimax anyway um, yeah, let's see I'll turn down the ratio a little bit or not the rate, the threshold. And that'll give you kind of what uh, what you kind of hear in uh, that one song that was posted on my channel. Alright, so obviously that's not all we're going to have here. We're going to have to fill in this little empty spot, remember. So um, we're going to make two more synths. Uh, just just for variation purposes, so we're gonna link uh, them separately, and uh, I'm gonna try to do this really quickly for you guys. Uh, I just wanted to like go through it slowly at first, but now I'm gonna kind of speed it up. So I think for the next synth, uh, it's gonna be really like hard and um, more of a higher scale. So first oscillator is iron under effects chords. Sounds like that. I think the next one is ground two, possibly ground three. Not sure. And the next one is, hmm, what could it be? Did you grain? I don't know. Anyway, you guys can can kind of mess around with that. Um, but I want it to kind of be like I want it to kind of be like a screech, and I, you know, honestly, I don't really know this program. Uh, or massive that well, so let me see what I can do. Gotta hate that lag. Anyway, then obviously we're gonna add some distortion uh, to that. Actually, we won't use the side, we'll just use Camel, camel Crusher. And uh, we might actually make that higher, but let's see. So, what would happen is, um, you would have it so that uh, you would just kind of fill in that empty spot. So we got the bass hitting for uh, three quarters of a measure, and then the last quarter would be that empty spot. Um, and then we also have the side chain compress of that. So basically, the exact same thing. Um, have the kick drum lit up, and then just go under whatever you want to side chain compress. Turn up that, or turn on that up knob, and then turn down the, you know, the knob or whatever. Um, going through this pretty quickly, aren't I? But um, yeah, so then you want to open up the limiter, just rinse and repeat pretty much. Um, threshold, and then I'll just kind of estimate what it might sound like. So it should sound something like this. Hmm, did you hear any, did you hear some side chain there? Hey, right, well first of all, it's not loud enough. And, uh, oh. Forgot to, forgot to put the side chain up to one. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's better. Let me see if I can fix that. And then we have something like that. And then we continue the pattern. Um, baseline basically doing the same thing. Kick, keep on beating. 
Oh, actually, no, we'll shorten the kick a little bit, make it sound more like the song that I heard. Um, trying to remember. And then back to the bass thing. And then I'm going to have another synth that's going to make a little staccato thing. So for the little staccato, stacc staccato, ah, long night. Um, for the staccato thing, I'm gonna make kind of like a weak, a weak saw thing. Turn, I'm gonna turn off oscillator three. You probably won't even need it, um, and it's probably not even gonna have any effects on it either. It'll probably just sound like that, but it's just gonna be a very small staccato thing. So three little staccatos like that. And that's all it is. Now of course there's a lot going on um, at the same time with other synths, like that's only three out of maybe the possible ten synths that this guy might have worked with in that one particular song, which the name escapes me. Um, there's definitely more cymbal and um, claps and stuff like that going on. You definitely want to make as much variation because you know you can't just keep on looping stuff like that. But uh, definitely uh, make a lot of uh, variety. Variety, yeah. Anyway, to um, to this kind of stuff because I, I I can see this stuff getting really boring if you just repeated that over and over so um, you know just try your best to um, to mix it around as as it goes along and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it guys um, that's about the last time I'm trying to make this tutorial because I tried to do this about five times and um, uh, the first time, it was just technical difficulties. The next time, uh, I realized that I could have done something cooler, and then so I did, did it again, and then, like, then I had to go eat supper, so I kind of came back, and that just kind of ruined the flow, and then I tried doing it again. Uh, audio difficulties, and then I realized I could do something even cooler, so then there I am, here I am now. Um, but yeah, so that's basically what it sounds like. Maybe I can go to my um, my actual pa uh, not pattern, but uh, project where um, where I kind of saved it just in case I want to go back and refer off of. This is what I had when I first started experimenting with um, massive. curious but um, it's just the same and walk all the same presets and stuff or not presets but oscillators just probably different stuff going on on um, almost high and things like that so um, yeah I'm just gonna I might leave an FLP for you guys or something like that but you're, you are gonna need massive and cam crush and uh, almost high so anyway that's that's the end of this tutorial hope you guys uh, enjoyed that thank you uh, guy who posted that request so for anyone else who wants to post any ideas, future tutorials, uh, I do answer them pretty quickly, it seems. I uh, had a lot of mo motivation, I guess, to, uh, you know, like I said, to uh, make tutorials. So anyway, that is that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and goodbye.